Ladies and gentlemen, coming at you with an emergency video. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hopefully you guys have been taking care of yourselves because Activision's they are definitely caring, taking care of their employees Bruh. with that situation. But check this out, right? So for the longest amount of time, we have been hearing that Call of Duty 2023 is not going to happen. Then all of a sudden, Activision comes out and they say that apparently this year we're gonna be having a brand new Call of Duty game and apparently now we have talks of this we're gonna talk about the trailer the reveal the release date everything like that roll this did Activision lie did Infinity Ward lie are COD fans entitled to a refund now that we know that COD 2023 is reportedly going to be a full-fledged AAA you know $70 title by Sledgehammer Games if you guys didn't know the leaks and rumors previously were all stating that Modern Warfare 2 was going to be a two-year game I came across this thread right here did anyone else buy something because they were under the impression this was a two-year con it's over 2,000 upvotes over on the modern warfare 2 subreddit and just to read really quick two-year call of duty game guys oh two-year y'all really thought that they're gonna be supporting the game for two years but listen man in the in defense of the homies that thought that this is gonna be a two-year game in their defense list listen everybody was saying even i believe at one point charlington was saying that hey it's gonna be most advanced call of duty game but that is because Activision was saying it, you know what I'm saying? Most advanced Bruh. Call of Duty, most advanced Call of Duty. And, and they were saying that three years, 3,000 devs, it's going to be supported for years to come, two years. But Activision never really said Bruh. that, I guess. For the first time ever in November, I spent real money on the game outside the Battle Pass. I was under the impression this game would be the most relevant for two years. I know that this isn't much of an extension, but it gave me hope that anything I had or used would continue to be there. Yeah. I don't feel that anymore. I feel slightly lied to in that aspect. I'll still keep playing, but I kind of want my money back, you know? And then he added a couple of edits here, one of them being talking about like a cosmetic purchase as compared to the entire game. But regardless, there's over 700 comments in this thread. I'll put a link to I kind of feel bad, but I'm gonna still keep playing. Bumbaka. That is Call of Duty Copium. That is Call of Duty Players in a Nutshell. The game is garbage, but I'm gonna still play it. And this is why Activision, they get away with Shiza like that, bro. This is exactly why, bro. To it down there in the description, when people are talking about whether or not they should be entitled to refunds for their cosmetics, or even just the entire game as a whole, because well before the game even came out, we're talking the original dates I have them written down here. The original story, I believe, from Jason Schreier was on February 22nd of 2022. Yep. So that's like eight months before Modern Warfare 2 even came out. We got the original story that for the first time in two decades, Call of Duty will be skipping a year. Activision has delayed 2023. Man. Ah! Got him. <laughs> Looking back got at this situation, this is just insane, man. And, and here's the thing, right? Jason Schreier, he's very credible, guys. I believe when he said that. I truly do believe it. And right now, looking back at it, I think uh, things definitely changed. And Jason Schreier is one of those guys that recently came out and he did say, we're gonna be having a brand new Call of Duty. What I heard previously, it was supposed to be a DLC, but now apparently Activision is saying that it got too big for a game. That's why they're putting it and making it as a DLC. Apparently, seven maps, guys. Seven multiplayer maps is way too big for a DLC. Bruh. This is why they're gonna charge us $70, they're gonna make a brand new game. And then, apparently, we had, like, these leaks, right? Call of Duty 2023, these are recent leaks. We got beta details as well. Uh, it's gonna be happening on October 6th. Keep in mind, these are leaks, uh, it's not confirmed, right? Uh, the, the dates can definitely change. We, we got alpha date, beta, campaign early access. And if I have to really take a guess, the trailer and the gameplay is most certainly gonna get revealed at around E3 because right now nobody really cares for Call of Duty 2023 one in the chat there's a there's more to the video I want to show you one if you uh, if you're high for Call of Duty 2023 two if you're not shaking like the homie oh my god oh my god I'm shaking, oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking guys I'm shaking let me know if you're shaking or not. This game made by Treyarch 2 2024, sources tell Bloomberg. It's a shocking move that will have a massive impact on the franchise and the industry. And then, of course, after that, we end up hearing a whole lot more leading up to the full launch of Modern Warfare 2. But keep in mind, this was all just industry insiders and leakers and rumors and things like yeah. that. Like, Activision themselves never officially came out and said anything. Now, I know this kind of makes me sound like, oh, oh I'm defending you. Activision or whatever, but we can even check out the original blog post where they were introducing Modern Warfare 2. There was never anything officially... Honestly, bro, like, this is gonna sound really bad, but I could be be wrong. wrong i could be wrong but from just thinking about this situation this is gonna sound insane guys but i also do not think activision ever said it's gonna be the most advanced game ever oh 
Oh shit! Oh, shit. I think it was GameSpot who said that it's gonna be most advanced Call of Duty game ever. But GameSpot did say that they spoke with Activision and Activision kind of told them that it's gonna be most advanced. But Activision never really publicly said that it's gonna be most advanced Call of Duty game ever. They basically told GameSpot that, yeah guys, it's gonna be most advanced Call of Duty game ever. It's basically, they, they said that, but they never really said that themselves officially. They basically chose a platform to say that, which is just insane, guys. In there about I the think. game being a two-year game, everything came from those industry insiders, those leakers, and, you know, credit where credit's due, people like me, I mean, COD YouTubers, like, so, like, media in general, I mean, look at all the articles that were popping up, right? Everyone yeah. was taking this information and running with it, and without ever having Thanks. an official source or an official announcement from Activision or Infinity Ward or the ridiculous amount of other devs that are apparently are working on Modern Warfare 2. There was never anything official about it being a two-year game. We did get a bunch more information, of course, coming from Jason Schreier. Initially, we started hearing that it was going to be a premium release, and he was saying it's basically just going to be an expansion to the game. Until eventually, as you guys know, like this eventually culminated about a month ago. I mean, almost a year after the original leaks and rumors came out. Again, Jason Schreier here. I uh, read a story at some point, which he may have already done that. I didn't actually look that up. I probably should have, but this is what happened. Treyarch's game was planned for 2023. Early last year, they decided to delay Treyarch's game until 2024, and then fill in the blanks with more Modern Warfare stuff from Sledgehammer. That was initially going to be the plan. It was going to be an ex expansion, according to Industry Insiders, to Modern Warfare 2. Then at some point, they decided to frame this expansion as a full release as compared to making it an expansion. So it is actually... And the, the funniest thing of them all is that they were, from the get-go, they were like, guys, we're gonna have a DLC, we're gonna have a DLC, 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 and, and, and we're gonna charge people $70 because, you know what, we're strong, we're independent, we do not need $60, we need $70 because the Call of Duty uh, suckers are gonna be paying $70, right? But then it got too big that they're not turning it into a game. Too big, guys, too big. Bruh. Seven maps are way too big, guys, apparently, according to them. They're in the yeah. wrong here. I mean, I think they are. They're in the wrong about so much, but not this. I, again, I, I cannot yeah. find. Maybe if you guys can, like, dig deeper on the internet somewhere, find some deleted tweet or some anything, man. I don't think anything official ever came. Bro, Mr. Beast ended up getting canceled for asking other people to uh, organize his chocolate in stores. And now you're asking people to dig that information for you. You're going to get canceled, too. Cause yeah. you now, about the two-year life cycle, it was... <laughs> it's name names, honestly, sounds, like, rude. Because, I mean... If you're just reporting news and that news turns out not to be true, especially in the world of like video game rumors and stuff like that, like I don't think that makes you like liable. You know what I mean? Like so, like Jason Schreier goes to Pope myself reporting on their news. I mean, I'm just as like liable, I would imagine, if I'm covering their news and using them as a source and they're using their own sources, but they can't let their sources be known because those sources are actually like working on the games. Yeah. Like I don't think these people are at fault or anything like that. I think what happened is something that happens all the time in game development, which is they start working on one thing, plans change, people hear leaks and rumors about this thing they were working on, but they're not even working on anymore, or the entire project has shifted to a new direction and then the previous leaks you pre imagine because like right now we are hearing that call of duty 2023 is happening what if they decide that they need to cancel oh shit because oh, shit. people are like not liking it that that's not happening you know that that's not happening i even i don't believe that guys they are they're probably gonna want to have more skins in call of duty 2023 they want to have more bundles seven maps a uh, uh, minimum right or maximum <laughs> Maximum! Seven maps maximum, guys! Man, this is truly insane. Uh, so we're getting a new Call of Duty game this year. Not a surprise, not a shock to me. I believe what's, a sh what's, what's the shocking news was that we're not gonna get the Call of Duty game. But even I was like, bro, like, in taxes, debt, a new Call of Duty game every year is promise, right? We're gonna get a new Call of Duty, but we heard so much after the after that, we're not getting a new Call of Duty game. It's gonna be a DLC, 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 that even I started believing that, yeah, man, we're not gonna get a new Call of Duty game this year. It's gonna be a DLC. Seven multiplayer maps. And it turns out that one day, you know what? Tom Henderson just woke up and he just dropped a massive bombshell. He said that, bro, Call of Duty 2023 is real. We're, he, they, already planned the alpha the beta the campaign early anxious and, and yeah i do believe and he said that and then jason Schreier did confirm his report saying that yeah it was supposed to be a dlc but now they are turning it into a full-blown game and, and i genuinely believe that they're gonna use e3 or e3 time period maybe at playstation Bruh. maybe xbox showcase because activision got bought uh, outright uh, pending approval right now but but you know what i mean right
previous rumors, the previous information becomes somewhat irrelevant. It becomes not necessarily true. And, you know, that's why we always say take things with a pinch of salt when it comes to leaks and rumors. I mean, how many times have I said that? For, I've said the phrase so many times that it like, doesn't even have any meaning anymore. I've said so many times over the past, Rex. like, 10 years I've been covering COD news. So, yeah, I mean, the Activision lie, I truly don't believe that they did, but it is a really shitty situation where that information, those leaks, those rumors, like all these news stories, again, being covered by everybody, it was so heavily mass covered because it was such a massive change to the COD franchise. It was such, apparently, like just based on like community feel, it was a welcome change to the COD franchise that people took it as fact, even yeah. though it was never officially announced by anyone that actually matters. Not to say that, you know, content creators and news outlets don't matter, but I'm just saying, like, unless it comes from Wrong. the horse's mouth, unless Bobby Kotek himself waddles up on stage and gives us the announcement, then it's not going to really be official until the game either comes out or until they announce it. You know what I mean? So it's just a really weird situation we found ourselves in, and now we find ourselves in the same situation basically, where we have leaks and rumors still. They have not said anything besides they're going to have a full Damn. premium release in the fourth quarter of 2023. The wording is very interesting here because the thing is that they never really said premium title, but they said premium release. I think they're trying to play this in a way where if they feel like that they want to release a new Call of Duty, at least they told their investors that, yeah, there's going to be a premium release. They buttered their investors up, but, but they never said premium title. They just said premium release. Premium equal money, my money, dala dala bill, right? So they're going to be selling something premium, right? We all know it's not premium content. It's like subpar comment, uh, content. It's worse than even the free to play content, guys. Let's keep a buck 50 here, guys. Bruh. But, but they said premium release, which uh, they never said premium title. So to me, it feels like that if they go ahead and they decide to release a DLC under that premium release words, they can do that, right? They can absolutely do that. But if they want to release as a <laughs> full blown title and they want to release it for $70, they can still do it under that premium release title, if that makes sense. October, November, December, if you guys didn't know, it's the fourth quarter of the year. So at some point within those three months, a full premium COD title is coming out. That is all that Activision has officially said. But going back to it, the leaks and the rumors and everything say that it's going to be what was initially an expansion to Modern Warfare 2 developed by Sledgehammer Games. But now rather than making it an expansion, it's going to be a Wrong, full, Sledgehammer, my balls. full price $70 title. Because of course you can sell a full game a lot easier than you can sell an update or an expansion. True. You know what I mean? It, according to the leaks and rumors, again, take everything with a pinch of salt. Uh, apparently this game by Sledgehammer is going to carry over a lot of aspects of Modern Warfare 2. We're talking game, uh, even game modes and maps, for crying out loud. It's also going to be yeah. on the same engine. Now, of and course... Here's the thing, man. The craziest part here is that, guys, the, the leaks did say that the, the DLC, the Modern Warfare 2 DLC, because it was supposed to be a DLC, it is a DLC, but they're turning it into a new game, because that's what makes the money, right? Essentially, it's going to be Modern Warfare 2, essentially. Modern Warfare 2.5, maybe even 1.5, for crying out loud, as the homie Nero Cinema once said. But the situation here is that we heard that it's going to be having Modern Warfare 2, the original, the uh, 2009 Modern Warfare 2 maps, Modern Warfare 3 maps in the game as well for multiplayer. I, I genuinely believe that it's we're going to be lucky if we have at least two new maps in multiplayer. Bruh. I think the rest will be remastered, recycled. And I, and I think a lot of you, from what I read in my comments, a lot of you would be fine with a Modern Warfare 2 remaster, uh, like a full-blown remaster. Obviously, they released a campaign. They can release a multiplayer right now. A lot of people would prefer that over this game that is essentially going to be remaster fest. We know we're, you know, I, I know, we know we're not getting any new content in the game. But I, I think the only new content would be the story. Yeah, we're probably going to get Makarov in the story. It's going to be an extension, a con direct sequel, continuation from the Modern Warfare 2022 story. So that's going to be the only new part of the game. I don't think multiplayer is going to get much love. I don't think it's going to get much content. Although I would say Sledgehammer's better than Infinity Ward, Infinity Turd. I gotta, you know, I mean, at this point, man, at this point. So just, these are just rumors. There's as of right hope. now, but you I know, if it does hope. have like all that carryover and it's still a $70 game, that's gonna rustle some jimmies. That's gonna be an issue, I think, for a lot of people. It's a topic that gets brought up to me a lot, and even as like a COD fan, somebody who is genuinely looking forward to Modern Warfare 2 being a two year game, because there's just so many problems with COD having the annual release cycle and people blowing thousands of dollars on cosmetics. Which I mean, here's the thing, man Call of Duty, we, we as Call of Duty players, we never really boycotted any COD game. When you think about it, right, you know that uh, I cannot say that game's name on YouTube, but the Justice League game recently right that is getting delayed because people went crazy right people said that we're not buying the game apparently the backlash has been so severe about this game that they are looking to delay that game call of duty had backlash but 
never really bad to the point where they had to cancel or uh, delay the game or anything like that. Will we see a backlash that severe? Probably not. As we've seen earlier in the video, there's a guy that says, I want refund, but I'm gonna still play Call of Duty. So Call they know, Activision knows, there is no hope, guys. For this. Free, they're adults or whatever, you know, they're free to do it with their money what they want to do, but yeah. knowing that that content just poof goes away and becomes irrelevant when the next game comes out, should they move on to the next game, that's always been a really shitty feeling. It really has been. And I, I would say that True. a big part of the COD life cycle lately is, you know, super hype up the game with the beta and by paying content creators and things like that and like bringing in movie stars and Cardi B and stuff like that, get the game super hyped, release it, have the game be in a pretty buggy, messy state for a couple of months, then go on a couple month Fix vacation it. after that without really fixing things, oh, yeah. and then maybe six. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm wrong. wrong. Yeah. Yeah, they they want to go. They will first go on a vacation and then fix it. And six eight, eight six to eight months later, it will be kind of like fixed. But then we're already on to the next Bruh. Call of Duty. They are revealing new Call of Duty and the last Call of Duty. Basically, we get new content as a playlist update and bug fixes. That's a new content. Uh, damn bro like damn five months later we don't even have a single new map it is coming it is coming but one new map multi-billion dollar company guys seven months into the game's life cycle start actually fixing things and adding new content to the game but then damn. quickly stop doing that after a little bit and then just start hyping up the next game like it seems like that yeah. has been the annual cod cycle for a long time now it's mostly leaving fans in a situation where we're just waiting for more content we're waiting for issues to get addressed and just, I don't know, this feeling of like never being fully satisfied, maybe that's just me, maybe I'm projecting here, but uh, that's what it seems like it's been like for the past couple of years, and a two-year life cycle could fix a lot of those issues. Then it turns out, we don't have a two-year life cycle, although, yeah. there's still the rumors going around oh that God. 2024, you know, after Sledgehammer's game, Treyarch's next game in 2024. Yeah, honestly, this is just copium right now, but I'll keep a buck 50. I'm actually looking forward to Call of Duty 2024. Bruh. I'm looking forward to zombies. I, I believe that Treyarch is going to be having all the time in the world but so did uh infinity ward they had like three years three thousand devs man and, and trick did work on modern warfare too Bruh. that's the craziest part even with Treyarch working with infinity ward it didn't do anything because i believe that track probably is gonna do a better job but at the in Treyarch's defense i gotta say this it, it was infinity modern warfare 2 is infinity wars game so infinity wars definitely gonna have the the say in what changes they want and what they don't want right i don't know man this is very very sad guys very sad as call of duty man we we had scum like retiring we had so many call of duty pros professionals they retired from playing video games that is just Bruh. insane if you if you go back in the 1800s and you told those people that in the future we're gonna have the internet we're gonna have video games right they would have they would have died they would have just died Bruh. right but then to tell them that yeah there will come a time when people will have video games internet and then you would tell them there would be people that will get so sick and tired of playing those games that they will actually retire yeah. i don't know what to say anymore guys this is insane apparently is actually going to be a two-year game so maybe that was the plan all along is to properly have a two-year game but they didn't think modern warfare 2 was gonna be the time to do it i don't know it's all just guesswork at this point man we're all just if the deal goes through and microsoft has a call of duty will it be better or not thoughts guys and trying to infer and we're all just trying to you know have a game come out for this franchise that we can all just love and enjoy but uh i mean covering it's, it's almost like the nfl offseason which is currently going on right now i'm gonna wrap the video up with this for some people myself included the off season of the nfl is almost as fun as the regular season the trades the draft the combine the, the leaks, the rumors, everything that's happening, you know, that's a pretty fun time of the year for me personally. And Todd's kind of the same way, where wondering about the future of COD and wondering what the next yeah. game is going to be like and who's going to be making what and like what features are going to be there and all that. It's almost as fun as actually playing True. because <laughs> when you really look at the COD games themselves, once they come out and after you get through the honeymoon phase, a lot of people just start looking forward to the next one <laughs> after a couple of months facts, because, facts. you know, this, this one year life cycle system that they've been doing for so long, it just, I think it's leaving fans a bit apathetic towards the franchise as a whole. Like, they'll play the new game, they'll mess around with it, they'll sink their teeth into it, they'll start to enjoy the game, and then they realize, well, shit, I mean, the next game comes <laughs> out in, what, six months? <sighs> well, that kind of makes me not want to grind for things in this game, because everything I do... Yeah, like, to be honest, I am genuinely looking forward to Call of Duty 2024, right? This year, we're getting the new reveal for the Call of Duty 2023. It's probably gonna happen around E3. Y'all think it's gonna happen at E3, around E3, before, after? Because genuinely, nobody cares about Modern Warfare 2 at this point nobody like seriously the game just fell so bad it is it is just sad because modern warfare 2 is one of those games that i was actually defending Bruh. i was saying guys trust me uh, yeah obviously i was not neglecting the, the the problems obviously i have 
uh, reacted and we had a massive discussion a lot of videos on the channel where we see other people complains and we talk about that like hey call of duty bad this and that but i always said and i always i will always say modern warfare 2 had great potential the gameplay i love the gameplay at uh, at launch i really did enjoy my time with it for a week two maybe even a month right but there is just no content ladies and gentlemen this also just happened swag nadia doctor this is apparently activision is mad the, the, click on this video you're not gonna believe what just happened this is probably the the most insane video click on it and i'll see you right